Hi Leo, welcome. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I appreciate all your love and light and support. Uh, so Leo, today we're going to do a little bit of a different reading. I'm going to be checking into who is keeping an eye on you, okay? So we'll see, you know, what energies, what zodiac signs are uh, watching, you know, watching over you guys, uh, keeping an eye on you guys, keeping tabs on you. Um, and I'll uh, first start with my zodiac sign deck and see if we can get an actual sign, uh, zodiac sign, Mars I'm seeing right now, uh, you know, the maybe planet association, the element, uh, Aries I'm seeing. So we'll find out here who is actually watching you, who's uh, kind of keeping tabs on you, Leo. And then remember, this is a reading for the collective Leos out there. So uh, it may not resonate with you 100%. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And then if you are looking for a personal reading, you can check me out at my website. The information is in the description box below. So MissMarieAngelicOracle.com. And then, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, help me to grow my channel, raise awareness. Uh, I'm here to bring love and light uh, to, to the world. Um, you know, there's spreading love for me, not hate, is uh, definitely how I wake up every morning and how I choose to live my life. So we, we need to raise each other up and be supportive of each other instead of tearing each other down. So here we go, Leos, spirits, guides, angels, what are the signs that are watching over our uh, beautiful Leos right now? Who is keeping an eye on my lovely Leos? September 2021 through October 2021. I can't believe I'm saying October. Who are keeping an eye out and keeping an eye on watching over the beautiful Leos right now? All right, a Cancer. So, can't sign a Cancer, someone with Cancer in their chart. Mercury. I'm just going to say that um, Pisces just had these two cards. I'm going to get another one. Ooh, what other sign? What other sign is uh, watching the Leos? What other sign? One more. One more. What other sign? Whoa, whoa. Just watching. Goodness, these cards just want to fly out all over. What's the other sign that is watching over Leo's? Who's watching my Leo? Who's keeping an eye on Leo? I get one more spirit, one more. Okay, Taurus. So a Taurus, a Cancer, um, you know, Mercury is about communication. So it may be someone's trying to communicate, wants to communicate, is thinking about communicating, uh, but those are the energies that are watching over Leo right now. And let's go ahead and dig deeper into this. So what is the energy here for Leo? Uh, and you know, what, what, what is uh, happening with Leo's that this, these people, this individual, you know, it could just be a person that's a cancer and has Taurus in their chart, vice versa. They might have, um, with Mercury, they might have like Gemini in their chart. So we're going to see, but what is going on here? What is going on here? What is going on for Leo that these signs are actually watching? keeping an eye on Leo. What do we need to know? Spirits, guides, angels. Fury, brush fires, uh, mystery, dark matter. Um, you know, this looks like, you know, the number 10 here, which is, you know, a cycle ending. It's putting out fires, running from something. 
sorry, it's garbage day. One more card from and the soul. Okay. So this is this is um, interesting. I'm gonna read from the Elemental Oracle just a little bit about these cards for you. Um, I haven't seen these cards except for the dark matter. I know what that's about, but extreme emotions once engaged are hard to put back in the container. Anger is a healthy emotion, yet fury is less necessary. Warlike emotions should be tempered unless survival requires it. Emotional intelligence is required at this time. So, yeah, I mean, if you look at this card, I mean, this seriously is the number 10. It is like the tower, if you're looking at it. This is like there's, you know, someone's angry about something. Something went down. Something happened. Um... You know, this card is about secrets. It's about, you know, that imbalance between, you know, the darkness and the light. This is about um, keeping secrets. It's about um, losing sight of what's important. It's about, you know, uh, you see how their mouth is covered with a butterfly? N not communicating, telling lies. Needing to transform something. Butterflies are all about transformation. And I think this is about an energy about, about you. Like what I'm picking up from this is that uh, you might have been involved with someone that has, you know, these in their chart. Or this is multiple people, but, you know, Cancer Taurus. And maybe there was a falling out, maybe something happened, maybe there was a tower moment, I feel like maybe um, uh, someone found out about something, and this is on an emotional level is what I'm feeling, and it, uh, it caused like some serious problems, there's major problems that are unfolding right now, um, I keep hearing the word karma or karmic, uh, I read intuitively and, you know, I hear messages. So, uh, number 14, the soul. This is a really beautiful card. Look at that. You know, there's a lot going on here. The, the eye looks like the world to me. Um, flowing with water, you know, could be tears, but, um, the soul here is, uh, a card of, about spark and, and, yeah, so it's about, um, you know, really considering what lights you up. It's about the divine spirit. It's about, um, your motivations. It's about, you know, your intentions. Where are your intentions? Uh, we all have more than one purpose in life and, you know, we have different paths we can choose to go down. And I feel like, um, I feel like you uh, might have had multiple options here. Leo, and you chose a certain path, and I feel like at the same time that you chose that path, you also kept secrets, and maybe there's two different people here we're talking about, um, a Taurus and a Cancer, and you didn't communicate, you know, you were like in your shadow self and didn't communicate with uh, these individuals that are watching you, you um, might have been um, not choosing one or the other. And I feel like actually you guys might have had that in a, in a very recent reading. Um, but I feel also as though the secret's out. 
there's been it's been communicated um, that it's out in the open and you can't hide from it anymore and, and that both of these people are aware and now you're kind of stuck in the dark matter of it all like you're stuck in that position there um, and you've kind of like gone into hiding and silence um, because you don't know what to do you were like trying to figure out uh, you're trying to figure out your your soul and what you really really want so I have whispers of spring here I'm not sure what that card is about from my fairy wisdom Oracle I I've never seen this card yet um, but this is you know the energy here about this situation also and um, you know also you know maybe the energy of these people here and and why they feel the way they do I've got companions I see seven here you've got 14 twice so uh, sevens for me are um, you know they in tarot are about fighting they're about um, they're about um, deception so you know when I've been picking that up here there's been some sort of form of deception here and um, that is what you know all of this energy is uh, stirred about it's um, it's about some things that have taken place that you, you know some choices maybe you made that weren't really on the up and up and you know you're really needing to uh, go deep within your soul yeah so you're really needing to uh, dig deep in your soul and really make a decision and figure out what it is you want especially before you continue to involve other people uh, you need to figure out yourself first Leo and um, I feel like you need to work on uh, bringing balance into your, the darkness and the light um, you need to learn how to be open and honest with yourself and with others um, and and you need to learn how to um, you know bring balance into everything that you do because I feel like your energy is a bit chaotic uh, and you know sometimes you just need to take a step back and it, it needs to be for a period of time where it's just you that you're not involving anyone else you got to figure out you first um, in order to you know start bringing other people into your energy just hope that makes sense um, because you know we hurt when we do things like this it's not we don't just hurt other people you're also hurting yourself so it's really um, important to listen to your highest self and and to understand uh, the path that you're on and the path that you're meant to take versus the path you're meant to leave behind we go through journeys in life we go on adventures in life we learn things through certain segments of life and then you know we've we've learned all we have had you know had to learn and it's time to move on you know to the next journey um, and I feel like you're in that uh, that crossroads right now where you need to take a step back Leo you need to um, you know communicate to these people here that have been in the crossfire your crossfire really and you know let them know I'm taking a step back I you know realize that I've made some serious mistakes and I'm really sorry for what I've done and the pain that I've caused you um, but I'm you know taking some time to figure myself out right now and figure out why I chose to do this and figure out you know how I can transform that and uh, start moving po forward in a positive way because the 51 card whispers of spring is all about growth um, you know it's uh, about rebirth it's about um, it's about learning it's about uh, 
visualizing yourself in the light, like on a, on a bright spring, sunny day. It's about um, bringing the spring into your life, you know. Um, it's about spiritual growth and positive growth. It's about moving away from what, what might have been stagnant to you. And um, you've outgrown that. Like you're meant now to move beyond this, this energy here. You're meant to, you know, return to your soul and lift yourself, raise your vibration, bring it into a higher vibration now because you've learned, you learned something happened here and you actually learned that lesson. And then companions, which is guidance. So this is saying you're not alone, that you're gifted and um, you, you are gifted with companionship from the other realms even interdimensional beings are there to assist you in all things so you're not alone you need to ask for guidance and um let you know spirit come into your life let them help you ask for help uh, it's time to um open yourself up let your guards down let your walls down and let the light, you know, start flowing through you. I feel that very heavily. Um, spirit's trying to communicate to you. You know, there's a thing, there's a something energy about communication. Um, but it says, leave a present for the fairies today. A big one, please. So, um, you know, it's because they're wanting to guide you. They're wanting to comfort you. They're wanting, um, you know, to show you and, and to bless you. And they're wanting you to show gratitude. They're wanting you to be selfless, um, and less, less selfish. Um, it's really, really important, you know, to be a selfless individual, share your love and light with others. That's what we're here to do. Um, we are here to lift each other up, you know, as I always say, and, and not tear each other down. We're here to support and teach and help our spirits um, raise our vibration and share that with, with our fellow humans because we're all one. When we do that, you know, we are, are helping and contributing to lifting the, the um, vibration of all. And when we do that, um, we're, we're all going to be living in a much brighter, brighter, brighter place. And then number 62, chocolate brownie fairy. This is funny. I've never seen this card either. So enjoy the chocolate brownie fairy is all about the sweetness of life. Allow yourself to fully partake of all the sweetness that life has to offer. Live in the moment. See the joy in all things from the tiniest butterfly to the beauty of the highest peaks. Laugh as much as you possibly can, uh, especially if it is at yourself. If you have an opportunity to go on an adventure, have your bags packed, ready and waiting. Meet new people and enjoy interesting things. Learn something new each and every day. Find fun and adventure in even the simplest things. So see, it's letting your guard down. It's a letting, allowing flow. It's losing that control and allowing things to just be. And I know you're tired because I am yawning again. I just went through this with Aries a few readings back and I started yawning like crazy. So I know Leo's, you guys are exhausted. Um, let's get some advice from your angels and then we'll close out the reading. I'm going to take this one. Yeah, cut the cords. <laughs> so it's time to cut the cords to that, um, you know, behavior. Let go of this here, this energy here, and, you know, start moving into the light. Um, this is a divinely guided uh, uh, path for you. There's a sacred plan involved. So I'm surprised I haven't seen divine timing for you, but... I do feel that, um, you know, yeah, you're receiving intuition and downloads right now. So, you know, spirits talking to you, as I was saying, 
they're trying to communicate to you, you need to rest. I'm yawning. You need to rest, Leo. You need to take a break. Um, and you need to turn your, uh, uh, you need to meditate and you need to allow spirit to come in and really guide you and help you through this process. And you need to take a break from the outside world. You know, I feel like it's time to huh, raise your vibration is at the bottom, which is what I was speaking about. It's so important right now and heal your inner child. So everybody's kind of going through this. Some of us have done it. Some of us are working on it. Some of us are being told it's what you need to do. And I feel like Leo, it's what you need to do right now. That's what you need to focus on. This is why that soul card is here. There's been an inner conflict and you need to forgive yourself um, and others, you know, so when you do this, you're going to have harmony and resolution in your life. And that's really beautiful. So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope I didn't say Aries along the way because I keep feeling that Aries energy. So you might have Aries in your chart somewhere, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, um, or it might be your true north. But I hope that uh, this resonates. I hope that it helps you know that I love you and I'm sending you good vibes and I'm cheering you on over here. Um, again, if you don't mind, please hit the like, share, subscribe button for me. I really appreciate all your love, light, and support and helping me grow my channel, um, which I hope is lifting the spirit of others uh, out there in the world. So when you subscribe, it uh, lets you know when I have uploaded a new Aries Leo video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and, uh, you know, I just want to say this again, get some rest. I think it's important. As I go on, you need to rest, Leo. So love and light to you all. And <clears throat> I will see you at the next Leo reading. Bye, Leo.